Hello, Gemini. I'm Laurel. And welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life. All right. What's poppin', baby? Pre-shuffle. Some sort of debt paid off. Of some sorts. The weight you hold. Okay. And the habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. So, Gemini, 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 Gemini. Here we go. There could be a situation where you're dealing with your uh, work life that you're definitely able to express yourself. You could be changing uh, careers. There could be some sort of uh, path that you're getting ready to take. It's definitely what I'm picking up. So, let's see what's going down. For you and then how they view you so you're definitely making a final decision um you're getting ready to get your money together with the queen of pentacles for sure also with the king of cups you're kind of not trying to like display some sort of emotions with the hermit in reverse here there's definitely someone who's going out in society and changing some shit up so be aware of that um you could be changing your job like i said you could be changing career paths it's definitely what i'm picking up here um you could be uh expressing yourself in a different way through your career path definitely feel that so you could be really getting your shit together all right so you're definitely getting some structure here with the emperor and the king of pentacles um, I do feel that overall you have closed off a situation that could possibly you felt was hindering you from, uh, you know, certain substantial changes. It's definitely what I'm picking up here. So with the Emperor and the King of Pentacles, I see that you're getting some major, major structure. So be aware money is on its way to you for sure debt's being paid off it's going down you felt tapped out on the situation for some reason you felt like it was burdening you you had to go out and step your game up is what i'm picking up uh you could be like you know leveling up in your life is what i feel here so there could be a situation where you are changing your home or there could be a home that's being changed around so be aware of that all right, so let's see how your love interests use you. Definitely a lot of changes coming to you soon. So, let's see how they view you. How they view you. Could be some lying energy or, uh, you know, taking time, to, taking time for yourself to get away from certain things. There's definitely a lot of communication here. Uh, they see you as someone who's wanting to like come out of the dating world with the three of wands here also with the eight of wands coming in there's going to be some fast movement or they see you as someone who has fast movement for sure that could be moving fast towards them uh you kind of blocked off some choices as well is definitely how they see you there could be some lying energy or they feel like you could be having a deceptive energy or surrounded by you. a lot of things that you're not really uh explaining to them or they're not able to go into depth of what uh you know lies are being told or what conversations are being es established but there's definitely a lot of fast movement here definitely a lot of uh cards where they see that you could possibly have blocked off some sort of communication or there was some blockage of communication um you kind of see where you're wanting to see where this is they're wanting to see where this is going to go Page of Cups. Y'all know this is my promiscuous card. They really don't have their emotional situation together. So um, I definitely feel overall that this person feels like there could be some deceptive energy. But things will be fast moving or there will be some fast moving towards you for sure. But you'll also feel like there's some sort of blockage or they will feel like there's some sort of blockage uh, in this situation that causes you to like, you know, Kind of stay within and not really explore outside things. So, let's see what you don't see. There's going to be some sort of explosion that happens. Okay. 
what you don't see with this person. Definitely a shake up with the tower moment here. Also someone who's really not wanting to take a leap of faith or just doesn't want to give it a chance with the full card here. So what you don't see is someone could, you know, be very explosive in their words, their emotions with the tower card. The full card, someone wants to, um, someone wants to, you know, leave this situation alone. You could have been dealing with two different energies. Possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. With the Queen of Pentacles, uh, they're trying to get their shit together. This is definitely what I'm feeling here. They're trying to get their money situations together. There could be a possible situation where they're, uh, they have some issues with renting, moving, things like that. Um, also, they could, you know, not really want to display much affection there could be some family situations that they're going through there could be some blockages with family situations as well as what you don't see there could be some sort of um an end to a family situation it doesn't necessarily mean death but it could mean that there's an end to something that's going on within the family home um they also have a hard time cutting away from this family situation is what i'm picking up could be legacy as well uh, but I do feel that there could be what you don't see is that there are some things that is definitely changing and expanding with the tower energy here. You could be dealing with a possible, uh, like I said, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Cancer Pisces Scorpio could be in their sun, moon, and rising. But I do feel like in this overall energy, this person has like, they're hiding some things that they're needing to let go of and they're needing to let let these things out. Uh, they could have been dealing with some mom energy is definitely what I'm feeling with the queen of pentacles, mother earthly type energy. So this could be Vir Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is what I'm getting here. But what you don't see is that there's some sort of situation where this person is having family issues and they're needing to travel away from this situation. The ten of pentacles in reverse, the six of swords. So someone is having some family issues that they're having to travel away from. There's going to be some sort of explosion possibly. So be ready for that. Um, they're also wanting some sort of Ten of Cups moment with you. So a lot of tens here. You could have had some sort of ending or you could have uh, tried to end something with someone, but they're trying to come back with the Ten of Cups. So they're wanting to bring you some sort of emotions, some emotions of love for the month of March. My dear Gemini. They want some love. There could be some family issues that they're having to let go of some explosions that might happen or that might ensue that might uh, cause destruction and would you know all in, in more time would cause either a build up or a fuck up so either this person um they're dealing with family issues there's going to be some si some sort of like explosive anger or there's going to be a change that's going to happen with the tower moment expanding to something different. But with the Ten of Cups here, someone definitely has some emotions for you. They're wanting to bring you some sort of emotions. They could have blocked off some communication. They're wanting to drop their guard down as well. So be aware of that. They also could be dealing with family issues, driving, cars, uh, renting, rental properties. Um... You could be also dealing with a possible, another air sign, possible Gemini. That's what I'm picking up here. So, let's see about some hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. So, in your hopes and your fears is that, you know, you could be just in a situation where you feel like if you start over with this shit or, um, if you continue with this person, um, they, you fear that there will be, you know, a betrayal of some sort, or this person could betray you. Also with the page of wands, definitely someone who has, you could be fearing that this person only gives out, you know, love here and there. Uh, the messages really aren't, um, 
you could be afraid of also outside parties as well or messages from outside parties is definitely what I'm picking up with the page of wands not that you're necessarily afraid but you're uh, apprehensive about approaching a situation because it could feel like you would be stabbed in the back with the situation Gemini so with the ace of swords you also feel like this person you know wouldn't talk or there wouldn't be some sort of uh, communication with the ace of swords in reverse uh, someone who doesn't have a bright idea, you know, they're kind of hindering them from uh, expanding out, being able to express themselves without someone, um, you know, putting pressure on them. So with the Ace of Cups here, someone wants to give out some love or they could be giving out too much love. There could be a pregnancy here as well, uh, but definitely someone who wants to give out some sort of um, emotional love is what I'm picking up here but you're feeling like if you give out too much love that this person might take it for granted so be definitely aware of that okay so let's see about possible outcomes definitely some spying with page of swords here for Gemini um, definitely some spying for possible outcomes so someone's just like looking to see your social media they're not really able to see I, you could be dealing with a uh, Libra based off of what I've just seen um, I do feel like there could be this point in time where you feel like you're in two minds about a situation because of the Hermit card and also the Two of Swords. So you're kind of going to go within some reflection and withdraw yourself and start to think of ways of how you can escape out of this way of thinking for possible outcomes. Uh, now, you could be dealing with another Gemini, possible Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is definitely prominent here, possible Virgo as well, so be on the lookout for that, possible outcomes, you feel like someone is spying on you, um, you definitely will be having some victorious moments, whether it be financially, whether it be in love, but you will be getting some direct communication and you will be feeling on top of your game. So be uh, be aware that possible outcomes, you're definitely focusing on your money. You're focusing on the prize is what I'm picking up here. You could have some Cancer Pisces Scorpio in your surrounding energy that you're really trying to see where this is going to flourish. But you're really starting to see this as someone who you can make something flourish with is definitely what I'm picking up here. But like I said, there could be two energies that you're having to choose from. Definitely a lot of two energy cards here. Um, a lot of starting over as well with the Queen of Wands. Definitely going to be some passion that's brought to you. And there could be some sort of commitment with the Three of Pentacles here. So someone could be a witch as well. But I do feel that there's going to be some sort of commitment that is going to be brought to you. Let me pull one more card. But overall, there's a serious victorious victory that you guys, you could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius Aries. That wants to take it kind of slow with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, they're going to take their time, but they're also, you know, not really thinking about certain things. You guys got some damn good cards as far as like financial. So there could be someone who's working on their passion. There's definitely someone who's working on things diligently um, that could be taking your mind away from this person or this codependency that you're dealing with. Uh, but they're definitely saying this could be the one. There's going to be a money situation that you guys have with the Wheel of Fortune that's going to take off for you guys. There's going to be some something that is going to pop off for you guys. You have the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Pentacles. So there could be some emotions that you're going to leave behind, but I do feel like someone is coming towards you with some sort of commitment. Like I said, it could be a witch. Uh, because the wands, the queen of wands is the witch card. So someone who's definitely a creator who, you know, creates things from home. They create nothing out of something. They make, you know, something that comes from nothing. They make it happen. So this person that you're dealing with is going to want to present some sort of commitment to you. With the three of pentacles here. But also they're seeing this as some sort of victorious moment for possible outcomes. So be on the lookout for that, Gemini's, my loves. You guys got some damn good cards. Also a spying card as well. But like I said, you could be in some contractual type things or some sort of... Someone is wanting to pre present some sort of contract with you. Someone could be getting married as well. So be ready for that. Or someone might want to 
uh, present some sort of marriage or commitment to you but that's only for a few of you but I do feel that um, there is a definite like energy of someone feeling very in control Gemini some fortune is going to happen to you soon so be ready for that because debt paid off you have the popularity card you know the victorious card the will of fortune damn relationships coming down could be some little small messages here and there with the page of wands but i do feel overall this person is really wanting to start something new with you or they're wanting to start something new uh start something over possibly but it's saying to be yourself through all, all of this saying to be yourself so um this person could, uh, you could have left this person at some point in time. You could have felt like they were lying to or this person wasn't really uh, very honest. But I think that you're going to take your time to really figure out if you are going to stay in this situation or not. Because someone is going to permit, present some sort of commitment to you, Gemini. So be ready for that. You're definitely contemplating on a family of some sort. But I do feel overall, you got some money coming to you. You got some change of destiny is coming to you with the will of fortune. Be ready, Gemini. Be ready, my loves, for the month of March. Um, I do feel that there could be some sort of energy that you guys are going to have to let go of or someone's going to have to release something first. It could be a family situation, like I said, or it could be um, that somebody is needing to clear their head um, away from a situation, get away from an old past situation. Cause like I said, it's two different energies here. So you could be dealing possibly with two different people that you have some sort of codependency to, but I do feel like there is an overall energy that you guys are going to be ready. You guys are going to be ready, ready for this change of luck, change of destiny as well. So Gemini for the month of March, I definitely see a lot of, um, a lot of good cards here. The, with the queen of wands someone is ready to bring on some passion like i said you could be changing a job as well or there could be a change of pace in your overall job situation you could be changing how your workflow goes you know the hours um you could be changing careers as well um but i do feel overall that you guys are you guys are going to start seeing where things are going to start fitting in the right places so be be aware of that be uh cautious that things are going to be happening fast for you too so um all right gemini that's your reading for march if you need a personal reading from me you can contact me in the description box down below um i will be doing some changes to my website and also i will be doing some new um some new things to my website so if you guys check it out check out my website laurelsmoon.com and um i will see you next time my loves peace Good things coming.